Yes. We're always glad for the word. Because yes. word gives us the information yes. about God and how God wants us to live in the things that God wants us to do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're certainly glad for that. We're glad for all the men that are preaching and teaching the word of the truth in the day in which we now live. Letting men, women, boys, and girls know those things that is required of us from God. Is that all right? Amen. Required? Amen. To us from God. And we pray that God will continue to bless and to keep. We're glad for all of us as we say it's here. We thank God for our service that will be coming uh, in February next month, who was will. Uh, we will have um, Unity, DOE, Brothers and Sisters of Unity uh, service be the first. And uh, I think that it will be uh, very uh, encouraging in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to each and every one. And we pray that the Lord will bless us in the services. And as we have said, if there's any questions and answers, have it in by February 12th. In the name of the Lord. Friday, we have a service Saturday and uh, Sunday, if the Lord's will. So we look forward to that. And we deal with unity. Uh, unity, uh, even in the sense and in the word that uh, it is, it means a whole lot. Amen. It means a whole lot for uh, unity to be among the people Amen. of God. Uh, 130 uh, third song, Brother Rick. It's a very important thing. We're going to just kind of maybe talk a little about some unity today and the importance uh, of unity uh, within the church, within the home. Yeah. Is that right? And that's, 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 that's key also. Is that right? Amen. It's very key in the home. It's even key in the church. Amen. Unity. Amen. How important it is. Um, just before you get started, I want to read a little bit of a definition of unity. A few definitions of unity. So that we can kind of get abreast of unity. Sometimes, you know, people don't understand the importance of the word and the meaning of the word. But it's very important. It's very important to to have unity. Uh, unity, uh, something complete in itself. Unity is something that's complete within itself. You know, a, a sample of unity is, you know, I look at a circle. It's complete within itself. Amen. Is that right? So unity is completeness. It's like Jesus the Son, and God the Father. They're in complete what? Unity. Amen. Is that right? Amen. So it's, it's very important to understand that. It's a mutual agreement or harmony. You know, it's a mutual agreement or harmony. Unity. You know, you know, it's like when a man and a woman gets married, they say they're coming in a union. Is that right? So it's very important to understand that, how important unity is. That's why, we, you know, we're having our unity service, and we want those of us that are here to be more in unity. Is that right? In everything. Is that right? Yeah. Because when there, is, when there is not unity, then it's not self-contained. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's no harmony. When there's, when there's no unity, it's no harmony. I don't care. I don't care who you are, what you think. It's no. It's no. When there's no unity, it's no harmony. That can be your own house. That can be at your job. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You you may not even have unity within your own self. Now, what else we to talk about a, a double-minded man? Unstable and all double minded, ain't unified, ain't, ain't in harmony with your own self. Yeah. So it means a whole lot. Also, 
uh, the word for togetherness or oneness. You know, it's like a sample of that dealing with unity is a team. When a team plays, they are playing as one unit. That's why they have uniforms on. They have uniforms. You don't have the same color uniform the person that you're playing against. Amen. It's just like in the church. There are some times that the choir director or the usher may say, well, we're going to wear this or that. Amen. This is the colors we're going to wear. Well, if everybody's in harmony, if everybody's in unity, it won't be no problem. Is that right? Oh, yeah. But the minute somebody gets out of harmony, is that right? Or out of uni being unified, then that that creates a problem. So unity is being together, being in harmony. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Also, unity is being, uh, sometimes we know that unity is the opposite of being divided. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. It's the opposite of being divided. When you're not, when you're not in unity, you're divided. It's just like unity uh, in harmony or one spirit. In harmony or one spirit. And that's important also. Uh, it's a very important thing to have unity. Even you know, when a man or woman gets married, they are coming together to be united, right? Amen. They're coming together to be united. Coming together as, you know, as one. Uh, one spirit. An example of that is when a bride groom and a bride both, you know what they do, you know, you know, people have things, some of them do things, you know, differently and extravagantly. They both would take two candles, she got one, he had one, and they are light, one candle. Right. Both of them got the candle. Is that right? right? They are two different individuals. But both of them, you know, they like, don't they? Don't. How have some of y'all done that before? Yes, sir. How many of y'all ever done that before? Amen. Amen. Bring, taking the two candles, you and her, right and groom, Taking it and then lighting one candle. Amen. I wish everybody was in there. Everybody all sprayed it out everywhere. I wish everybody was in there. And some of the kitchens, it's everywhere. They need to all be in here. David, tell them I said they need to come up in here. All right, Matthew 19, 6 says what? Wherefore, they are no more twain. Well, they are no more, they are no more twain. But one flesh. They are no more twain. Is that all right? Yeah. Ain't no more twain. That's two candles. That's right. It's two candles, but the two candles are union up to light one candle. Representing themselves Amen. as one union. Amen. What therefore God has Is that right? It represents himself as one union. I got married. You got married. Supposed to be one. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You like yourself out, huh? Ain't that so? But wherefore there are no more twain. There are no more. There are no more twain. But one flesh. There are no more twain, but one flesh. You know, and that's the way it is. Whenever you are being unified as a union, yeah. as unity. You know, uh, when there is unity, everything works out. Fine. Amen. When there is unity. Well, we know what the opposite of unity is. Divide. 
Is that right? Yes, sir. Amen. If you're on the team, you don't get upset if the coach pull you out and put somebody else in. Because the whole purpose is you ready to what? Y'all want to win. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm glad he was able to get in so that we could win. Amen. Well, being unified, unified in the church, our whole purpose of being unified is that we want to win. We want to be saved. We want to be of help one to another. We want to be unified. Is that right? Whenever there is not unity, there is division. Scripture teaches even a house divided against a divide where there is no unity. You got to come up with unity in a home, in the church. That's why it works so, it's, it works so good. And I was just rejoicing uh, looking at the brethren work yesterday, doing some work. I said, you know, it's, it's a blessing when there is unity. Everybody ain't doing the same thing, but you there. It's like everybody ain't in, is not on the field, but you on the side and you're a part of the team. Right. You, it's unity, it's togetherness. Right. It's important. It's important to have that in, in, in any structure. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Because one may not be as skillful, is that right, as the quarterback. Amen. The center is important too. The one that hiked the ball. Amen. The kicker is important. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. The ones on the team that ain't, ain't even in the game, they're important because they encourage them. They, they, they throwing up flags. They, they cheering. They encouraging them when they come off the field. So the, what we're talking about today is unity. Amen. Unity. Something that's complete within itself. We want to be unified in the church. We want to be unified at home. You want to be unified wherever you are part of something. Being unity, it makes a difference. Amen. Don't. Amen. Well, I'm going to tell you who don't like unity. The devil don't like it. Amen. That's why he said, you know, if Satan casts out Satan. See, Satan, he want to bring about division. He don't want people... He don't want people to be unified in nothing. Amen. He don't want you to be unified in prayer. Amen. He don't want you to be unified in choir rehearsal. He don't want you to be unified in giving an offering. Be, he don't want you nothing. He want to try to find something, tell us you, and let you know or give you something to where you are not a part or you're not working in harmony. Amen. That's his job. Amen. That's and it's our job to make him a liar. Yes, yes. Amen. Make him a liar. Amen. He's a liar. We're we going to work this thing. This, this, yeah. We're going to work this thing out. So we were saying how that unity, something complete in itself, a mutual agreement, harmony, the word for togetherness or oneness sample. A man, they, they wear uniforms. The teams on it. Amen. Colors. Are worn to show unity. You know, sometimes you know, you know, youth. Let's say, for instance, the youth, and we gonna go out among the world and the youth or the, the church. We may, I think, they was going out feeding the hungry, Amen. and they had a shirt, and they had something on the shirt. Everything they had on the shirt, it was the same words. Amen. It I don't care what it was, but nevertheless, Amen. they all had the same color. Yes. The words that was that was written on the t-shirt was the same color. Amen. But that's, that's showing for unity. Right. And it don't take nobody long to say, oh, you're part of that group that's out there feeding? Right. Yeah, I'm just bringing in soda. Right. I'm just doing this right here. Amen. But it's all working together. Amen. It's all, there ain't no, oh, big you, little you, or I ain't nothing. Sometimes people put their own self in a particular man. I ain't doing, you know, it's, I ain't doing this, I ain't doing Now you be together. Amen. That's what unity is. It is important to have unity, brothers and sisters. Amen. It is very important. 
Is that right? Like I said, you the, the, the example of the wherein you can take unity as a usage, wherein, as I said, a husband and wife, they get cameras. Some of them that have those type of weddings where they got the, the cameras where people come in and light the cameras. You know, everybody have different weddings, but I'm sure if y'all been to a wedding, you've seen that. Sometimes people take they they take sand or something and mix it all together, showing unity. Sure, is that right? right? You got some sand, you got a purple one, you got a red one, and you pour it in one container, and it all just mix all in. And well, that's how marriage is. Marriage is getting all mixed in, Amen. and that's unity. You sh and, and, and one thing about it, it's hard to separate. It's hard to separate. Is that right? And that's the example for as marriage, how one lights the candle, one got one, one got, and you, you got two candles, but you bring them in to make one. You have the sand or whatever. Whatever it is, there are a lot of symbols of people showing forth uh, the unity within a marriage. That's a marriage setting. Unity within the church setting. How we all believe that Jesus is Lord. We believe in the baptism. We believe that we should receive the Holy Ghost. We believe that one should tear. We believe that one should abstain. Is that right? From fleshly lust. We believe that one should have one wife and one husband. We believe that. Amen. Now, when it's different, it, it brings about different. It's division, but being harmonized as one. Is that right? Unity is is that way. Yeah. All right. All right. What you got? Read. read. Psalms. Yeah, then I'm going to come back and talk a little more. Psalms 133, starting at verse 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Uh-huh. How good and how pleasant it is. See, a lot of people don't realize this. Isn't that people make, you know, don't see the importance of brethren dwelling together in unity. As I said, I was just glad to see the brother that was here. I know some had said they weren't going to be here. I understand that. But it's, we just talk in the sense of unity and how that, you know, uh, other brother, the brother Earl, he came and was very instrumental in, in the things he was doing. You know, we had the different brothers here. And, and it just was good. It was it was a very, very good thing. Is that right? Like showing you sometimes like, what what I'm gonna do? Just, just being here means something. Amen. You know, sometimes that you are, it's like born a, a man on the team. Amen. Am I gonna go in? You you may be called on when you least expect. If you part of the team, you got to go in and show forth some effort. That's right. So unity means a lot. Amen. It means a lot. As I said, at home, within a marriage, is that right? It means a lot. To be unified, to work on being unified. Uh huh. It's it's one mind, one feeling. Is that right? Hey Amen. That's the beauty of it. You you want. You know I think uh, my son Kevin he was uh, up exalting once and said something about uh, two suitcases and how he had maybe two suitcases and. How that you take all was in your suitcase and all was in her suitcase and you put it into one. Well, whatever it is, you bring it all together. Right. And one thing about it, you must be honest. That's you know, right. when it comes to those things, you know, you got to put it all in there. Because once they once they got the candle, they like that one. They don't keep holding that whole candle. Right. That candle, that, that other candle is put out. Right. Is that right? Sir. Those kind of put out nice. It's one flame. Yeah. It's one flame. One flame. Amen. That's how unity is. Unity works dealing with one. Y unity is interested in what's going on. Amen. If you if you're a part of something and you unify, you're interested in what's going on. Amen. Anyway, I don't care what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Well, you're not, you, you must be sure you're not a part of. That's right. If, if you're, you don't have an interest in it, you're supposed to have an interest in it. 
not your own self-willed interests, but the interests of others, because we are one. Amen. Is that right? When I played football, I ran touchdown and made great tackles. I didn't do it just for me. I did it for the team. I went to Gainesville High School Purple Hurricane. Is that right? We win. Amen. We all going to get some glory. That's right. No, I ain't going to run it because the coach said something about me last week. I got to forget about what the coach said last week. I'm trying to win. We trying to win. No? So, so we are here as a unit. We trying to, trying to win. We trying to win souls. We trying to show forth examples of how we should be as a people. That's unity. Yeah. And that's why we strive. We will have a unity service. Is that right? We want to show forth the unity. Whatever, whatever it is, you're a part of. What you got, Rick? Read it. And then uh, Genesis t uh, uh, 13 and verse 8. Let's hear it. And Abraham have said unto Lot. What? Let there be no strife. Don't let there be no strife. I pray thee. Uh huh. Between me and thee. Between me and thee. And between my herdmen. Uh huh. And thy herd. And thy herd. For we be brothers. We be brethren. Yeah, thy herd. In your will, you will. We don't have no strife. Amen. We're gonna be unified. Amen. Is that all right? Hebrews thirteen and one. What it says, right? Let brotherly love continue. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's important. Amen. So it's important, saints, brothers and sisters, to have unity. 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 I want to read something that I was reading something earlier this morning, and I added a little bit to what I'm about to read. And it was a picture that one of my daughters had given my wife and I, a picture of us. And um, we went and I was up there and took a on the picture, and they gave it to us. And it, it, re, it read, uh, it reads, love makes a home, love makes a home, all uh, right, love makes a home. All right, that's what it says, love makes a home. But then I was thinking, and I, and I added this to it. I said, love makes a home, unity makes it strong. I'm gonna let that soak in a little bit. Y'all so y'all ain't got it yet. I'm gonna let that kind of soak in a little bit. Amen. Love makes a home. Amen. Unity makes it strong. Amen. Because when, when you got a home and you got unity, you got togetherness. You got something that you're gonna work with. Is that right? And I know all of everybody that's married, including myself, there's been ups and downs. Okay. Amen. We, we, we get, and you know, and just like in the church, it's ups and downs in the church. Is it? It's ups and downs. It's ups and downs in the church. Yeah, some things y'all don't agree with. Some things I may do, you don't agree with. I mean, that's that's life. Some things your mom and daddy do. Girls, boys and girls, y'all don't agree with. Do you ain't got to say? Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. I don't want you to get in trouble. But I know I'm telling the truth. Is that right? Yeah. That's life. Love makes a home, but unity makes it strong. Regardless of ups and downs. Is that right? Yeah. It's a certain way that we have to show unity within the family. There are certain ways. How do you show unity in a family? And we're going to look at unity in a family, natural family. And then try to look at it within the church. Put family first. Put fam within the family structure. You got to think about family. Family. Family is important because love makes a home. Unity makes a strong. Amen. Right. First, you you know we know that we see we talking about a natural structure. That's just like us here. We we consider ourselves, we say it sometimes, the body of Christ is like a what? A family. Is that right? Amen. The body of Christ is like a family. Amen. That's right. Amen. But we want to consider, you know, one another and consider these things 
as a family, as a family structure. Yes, there's ups and downs. But now you see that the good thing they have a misunderstanding. That's life. That's right. But love makes a home. Unity makes it strong. Are you sure family to have a sense of family unity with your members? You want to make have a sense of unity within the family members. You, and all of us got natural families. You got family that you sit around your table with. I have my family and you sit around our table with. Every family member is important. Every family have to have unity. I'm going to tell you something. When there is unity, it makes things work so much. You can do so much with unity. I used, I used to enjoy, when my wife and I, we had an ice cream business that we had for about seven or eight years. And I used to enjoy when she got off and I got off, and we worked it together. It was just wrong. But there was times I had to work it by myself. I get my grands to help me, and my kids and stuff that help me. But when she and I was working it, because she and I was the one that started the business, it worked so beautiful. She would drive, she would go places, and I would be doing what I had to do. It makes it, it made it so much better. But she weren't there. She, if she had to work later, then that, that put a damper in me. Because my one of my team players wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, it makes a difference. Yeah. You know, in, in the that in the sense. You know, it's like at a home. You know, when you got your family and everybody there, you work together. When that one person is sick or ill or something, and, and you if you are unified, it makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah. You ain't, maybe you haven't experienced that yet. Right. But it, it does. It does. Amen. Then also, as a family member, family members will all have to learn to participate with family. Is that right? Or prioritize. Prioritize your family. You know, learn these things. You have to learn the prioritize within the church. You know. We know that different ones do different things, but we all still one family. This is a big one for a family, natural family. And that is uh, adopt. With the, see, we're dealing with unity and how important it is to adopt how we should adopt family tradition. Let's just say hypothetically that my family and I, we went on a cruise every year at the same time. That, that, that means a lot within a family structure, don't it? It may be things that you do within your family structure that you do regardless, traditionally. It's, we've been doing this for 50 years. My great granddaddy started, you know, something just brought down traditionally. And it brings unity within what? The family structure. It brings unity within a family structure. That's just like I was thinking today, uh, you know, within the church. How can that happen? Or uh, what tradition can we look back at? that we can say we're doing what was done years ago because it brought people together, it brought unity, you know. And I, I was thinking early when I was thinking about it, reading and going over these things was how a long time ago we used to have, uh, we all the saints would come and have a fish fry out here on Saturday night. Uh, Brother Wallace, he would have an ice cream churner. Be tri all, some of y'all remember what I'm talking about. We had a soda water, you know, all we had a big fish fry. It was it was something we looked forward to. It didn't matter if we smelled like fish going on. We just we just felt good coming together, talking and enjoying one another. That was that was you you have to, sometimes you have to keep tradition going. Sometimes you it ain't as many people because some of the older ones have gone, but to keep something going. You know, and within a family structure, it's good to do that because what that does, it brings forth more unity. Brings forth, see, the more you're together and the closer you are talking, it brings forth unity. Is that right? It, it makes a difference when you're sitting around with your family. That's just like, you know, I thank God for my mother-in-law, but when my mother-in-law was alive, you know, it's like, it's amazing. I don't even go up on the hill like I used to. 
But we used to have big dinners and we used to all go up there talking and all of them used to gather together and just have a good time. Some talking, some singing, some doing. I mean, it was just a blast. Those are the kind of things that down to you, you keep going, but it's always something to come in there to bring about a division. Yeah. And one thing that I've learned in life, and that is the death of one can separate so many. That's right. yeah. The death of one person. You'd be surprised how one person made all this happen. That's right. And when that one person is gone, it's like, well, okay. But to keep a tradition going, no, we going to be up here every whatever it is. Because this was mama's birthday. This yeah. was, this was, this, I know mom and him, but we just enjoyed being together. Mm -hmm. You know, and those are the kind of things that, it's like in the church. You should have a, something where tradition is just, I don't care if there but two people are here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe some will catch on and come on. But see, we get discouraged when there is, when others are not there. Yeah. But unity will keep things going. It means, a, it means a lot. It means a lot to have unity. Is that right? Amen. Amen. So, you know, adopting family tradition, uh, that means a lot. You know, and, and the way you can do things, just like taking family, you know, within a, a natural family, taking family adventures. You know, where family say, well, we all, we, we all going to such, such a place. It's good, men, women, when you as a family can take time to go someplace with your family. That's right. You know, enjoy one another, laughter. You know, you know, it just means something. It brings you closer, just like even when a, a church structure taking a bitch. It's like we if we decide say, you know what, we are gonna go on a fishing trip or whatever. Somebody said, I don't like. Okay, well, we will go somewhere where you ain't scared of water. We don't want to leave nobody out. But it means something to be able to, to, to be together like that. Do y'all realize that? Yes, that's right. Means a whole lot. Yes. But these are the things that keep unity within its oneness. It keeps unity within its oneness. Amen. And that's, you know, gathering, gathering frequently as a family. That's why the scripture teaches us about gathering. It, it means something to assemble ourselves together. I mean, it means something to come together. Amen. Even as a natural family. Is that right? I love when all my kids, my wife, and I get, we all get together. I mean, talking about everybody there. I'm talking about everything there. My, my nine, and then the others that some of the nine have seeds that have been passed, passed on through. That's a beautiful thing. Is that right? It's a beautiful, I can just sit back and look and just look at how they have grown up and just, you know, it just it just means a lot to be able to come together like that, you know, gathering regularly. Just like the saints, it's good to us to, to come together. Oh, I don't want to go out there. Sometimes we get so discouraged with even gathering together. We feel better sometimes gathering with our own family than coming to gather with the church. And this is your spiritual family. Actually, the spiritual family is supposed to be real close because we deal in a spiritual. But sometimes people just don't don't really care if they come together spiritually. They don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They don't know. Ain't nobody gonna be there but A, B, C. Well, why don't you make D? Yeah. A, B, C. Come on, D. Come on, D. So it means a whole lot. Unity means a whole lot. Amen. And then that way you have someone to lead on. You know, it's like a family, a, 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 a real, you know, you hear people say, man, that family tight, that family, that family real cool. I'm talking about that family, I'm telling you. Where yeah. they're concerned about each other. Amen. You know, they're leading, they can. You know, within a family structure, you, you need to have somebody to lean on. You need to have somebody to lean on. In a natural family, when you got that, you say, we got you covered, we got you back, don't you worry about it. 
But the enemy, you know what the enemy do? He trying to bring so much division, even in family. He make it now. People don't even care if they don't. They get to the point now, so they don't really care if they don't even see their family. Right. They, it don't make no difference. I see him. I see him. I don't. I don't. Big deal. Right. But we all need to lean. Have someone to lean on. Right. That's exactly like within the church. The church. Do you know how close the church is supposed to be? We supposed to be really close and important to each other. Concerned about each other. Right. You know, I heard somebody testify this morning. Sabrina was talking about how she was enjoying how Sister Jackson Jewel had called her, and I love the way she said it. She said, "From the bottom of her heart, not Brina's heart, but Sister Jewel's heart." It means something. Right. Sometimes we see we as a people. Sometimes we don't realize we we kind of get stuck in our own little way, where you could just reach out. And lean on. Yeah. It just it ain't gotta be a, a no hour, two hour. I just called to see how you were doing. Yes. I haven't seen you in a little while. I just called and checking on you. How you doing? Just like a natural family. Is that right? Amen. But we got to get more unified. It means something to have unity. Y'all understand that? It means something. It's a big thing. Something you have to work on. Something that you have to want. If you don't want it, well, you ain't gonna work towards it. Amen. That's right. Is that right? If they ain't really, if a husband and wife get they get rid of the union, why why take your camera and she he take her or his and you like that one camera? People don't realize the symbolic uh, effect of what it, what they're saying. You're actually saying something, though you're not speaking nothing. Because right. everybody in the church know what's going on. Some, some people don't know. Some people ain't never been mad. Say, why, why are you taking that camera kind of light? Then somebody got to explain to them. That's showing unity. That's showing oneness. Is that right? Yeah. So we want to show oneness within our family structure, within the church structure, so that we can be what God would have us to be. But remember who brings division. Who don't want unity? Who don't want unity? The devil. Say so don't want nobody to be unified. Yeah, He'll make little kind of old stuff come up. That's right. Oh, it's amazing. Stuff you come up. Ah, and you're fussing and fighting. And you can't get a hold. And you, you just say, well, what's the use? Is that right? Yeah. Well, this is what God wants. All right, Rick, 133. Oh, where are you at now, bro? 133. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. He said how good and pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head. It's like, listen to this now. It's like the precious ointment upon the head. That ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard. That ran down upon the beard, even Aaron beard that went down to, to the skirt of his garment. See how it stayed together? From the head to the beard to the skirt. end of his the skirt of his, his garment. Unity will stick together. Amen. Being unified means a whole lot. Amen. As the dew of Hermon. As the dew of Hermon. And as the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion. And as the dew that are sinned upon the mountain. Is that right? Yeah. It covers. As the dew that descended upon the mountains. Yes. Zion, uh -huh. For there the Lord commanded the blessing. For there the Lord commanded the blessing. Even life forevermore. Even life forevermore. It's a good thing to have unity. Yeah, it's a unity. That unity. Then the scripture teaches how that we should be in unity. Uh, Ephesians 4 and 3. Rick. So I hope that you will receive something. I'm getting ready to pull, close out anyway. What it says, Rick? Ephesians 4 and verse 3. What it says? Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. Well, you do all you can. That's, 
I think that's what our slogan is, Reverend Bell. That means a whole lot right there. People, that ain't just up there. We ain't just want that put up there just to a show. Endeavoring to yeah. keep the unity of the spirit. Now, really, remember what unity is. Something complete in itself. Endeavoring. Endeavoring means you're going to do all you can. You're going to do it to the best you can. You're going to do all you can to do this. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. That's just like a man and a wife. They should be endeavoring to keep the unity. Just like in the church. We shouldn't let the enemy, the enemy, come in and just separate us because, because of misunderstanding. Sometimes, see, you got to learn each other. The more you come together, the more you can learn each other. Is that right? Amen. But see, the more you stay separate, that's just like a husband and wife. All right? They married. They live the count. Okay? They care about it. Not a single count on this house. Now they're one. Symbolic thing, they're one. There's still ways about her he don't know. There's still things about him she don't know. But as you endeavor and as you learn and as you want to stay unified, you learn each other. And you learn to accept, don't you? What is that? Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit. Endeavoring the, to keep the unity of the spirit. In the bond of in peace. In the bond of what? Of peace. Of peace. Yeah. That's what unity brings forth. You got to have peace. You want peace. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rick. Thank you all. May God bless you. And may God keep you.